Hey guys, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. This is Andre from PSD Box, and today I would like to show you how I made this manipulation in Photoshop. Let me show you the full image. This is the full uh, artwork, the final result, and I'd like to show you how I made this. It's a an intermediate manipulation tutorial. Uh, it's not very difficult. I just used a few um, stock images. Uh, the model and we'll make some basic makeup see here on the eyes and a bit here on the lips and some skin treatment using um, using the mixer brush tool and some well just regular um, regular manipulation techniques that I showed on previous tutorials so I hope you will uh, like this and let's jump right into it First, uh, I'd like to mention that I switched to this black version of Photoshop because it's less uh, stressful for the eyes, especially at night. I also updated my Photoshop CC version to, uh, to 2015, uh, which changes a bit the interface. Uh, it's a bit more flat, I think. Uh, the icons changed a bit and also they changed the location of the move tool and also its icon. If you take a look at the CS6, you can see how the move tool is now on the left side. It doesn't seem like much, but I was used to having it here on the on the right side, and it sometimes uh, bothers me to have it there on the left side. But anyways, um, also the this new version of Photoshop CC um, has the oil paint filter back. A lot of users uh, wanted that filter back, including myself. But for some reason, I cannot use it. Um, it's here on the stylize, it's not here on the list like it is in Photoshop C uh, CS6 for example. It's here inside the stylize uh, list and you can see here oil paint. But it's grayed out and that's because in the preferences on the performance I do not, I cannot um, enable OpenGL, uh, CL, sorry. I cannot activate it for some reason. Maybe because I have to update my um, operating system um, I have version 10.95 which is um, a bit up, uh, outdated um, anyways I'll use the oil paint filter here on Photoshop CS6 and that's it so well let's uh, let's get started with this the first thing that I want to do is start with my stock image which is a pre-made stock image from DeviantArt which is this one what I'll do is just copy it. The only thing that I did to this is I blurred a bit this part. This part of it, let me show how I did that. And this is uh, how I blurred it, as you can see there. Uh, it's really easy. What I did is I just unlocked the background. I created the layer mask. Got the um, this gradient tool. And here I just created a gradient from where I wanted to blur the image, which is from here. And then I just dragged up like that passing the out uh, well the boundaries of the canvas like so and then I deactivated this layer mask by pressing shift and clicking on it and then select the layer itself and go to filter and I, then I went to lens well now to blur and lens blur and the reason why I created that layer mask is because now I can use that layer mask as a depth map and here where you see depth map source change this to layer mask and it will use that layer mask that you have well right there to uh, to blur your image the only problem that we have here is that it's inverted you can see the top is not blurred and the bottom is and I want it inverted so I'll click invert and you'll see how now this part is in focus and this thing here starts to gradually fade well to be out of focus so what I will do now is probably change this to triangle I think it will make it a bit uh, fast and start painting over it. Um, I want to sample a more saturated tone. Yeah, like that. The next thing I want to do is drop the opacity and the flow of the brush to about 50, 50 and 50 and just paint over the hair like that. You can see it also affects it also affects the background, but I'll show you how to do, uh, I'll show you a trick to keep the color only 
over the hair and not without even using a layer mask. You'll see that in just a second. So the first thing I want to do is just make sure I have the right color and it, that it matches. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that and I'll change the uh, opacity now. Let's say about about 30%. And if you want to change the tone of this, you can select the layer itself, press Ctrl Command U to open the hue saturation and use the hue slider. I'm going to leave it roughly there, the minus two, and see the before and after. And if you think it's too strong, you can still tweak this uh, more if you want. The next step, you have to make sure that you have everything as you like. Uh, so check and double check everything, the skin, the... Uh, layers and everything here to make sure that everything is okay and that you don't have any all the layers that I have here create a new one and I'll name it woman shadow and I'll get the brush tool use the dark well the black color and I painted shadow uh, shadows on all a lot of my tutorials and this is how I do it I set the opacity and flow to about 50 or 40 and 50 opacity and flow and I use a about 30-40% uh, strength on the brush and I use a medium size brush and I just start painting like that under you can see most of the brush body to say it that way it's under well on the out on the top part of the dress and it's just sticking out just a bit there on the edge and I make multiple passes and you can see how I start building up the shadow this is just the first shadow that I create to uh, where the dress touches the ground and it has to be a bit more intense like so and now I'll decrease the opacity to 10 and the flow to about 30 let's see if maybe that's Wait, too little side of it so I'll set it to minus 6 just to add a bit of uh, soft haze on the image and a bit more light and I'll click OK and you'll see the change before and after you can see we start to get that bright and a bit colder tone that we have uh, on the original image and that's pretty much it now what I'm going to do is add some adjustment layers to uh, add even more uh, tones and even more effects to this so for the final adjustments I'll create a group and I'll name it final adjustments and inside of here I'll have the adjustments that I will create and the first one is a curves adjustment and I will use this just to create a split tone effect I'll get this bottom point so first go to the curves uh, to the blue uh, channel sorry get the bottom left point 